This is Cristiano Ronaldo, who is known as one of the greatest footballers in the world. Ronaldo has played on five different teams all throughout his professional career. But today, that is going to change because after every season, Ronaldo will switch teams to see if he can become the greatest of all time. And to make things interesting, we will be deciding his team each season. But to start his career, Ronaldo was an 18-year-old wonder kid at Portuguese club Sporting Lisbon. Already being a wonder kid, Ronaldo will put on a show his first season scoring 10 goals and showing signs he can become one of the greatest players in the world. He would also have Sporting win the league as well and doing all this in one season opened the eyes of many other big European clubs so Ronaldo's agent decided it was already time to pack his bags and join a bigger club. Season 2 of Ronaldo's career where will he be heading? Oh my gosh wait 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 which uh, it's gonna be hold on wait it's a close one no it's not never mind it looks like we're gonna be sending Ronaldo to the French league. For season 2 PSG would sign a 19 year old Ronaldo for a transfer fee of 50 million euros and teaming up with the likes of Kylian Mbappe and Bruno Fernandes is exactly what Ronaldo needed. He would go on to dominate the French league scoring 27 goals helping PSG secure the league one title also knocking out Real Madrid Manchester City and Bayern Munich on the road to the Champions League final where he would face off against Lionel Messi and Barcelona and seeking his first Champions League trophy Ronaldo would create a great chance for himself oh my god Ronaldo you're through Ronaldo you're through hold on Ronaldo Ronaldo power through him power through him and shoot come on Ronaldo oh my gosh no how did he miss that Ronaldo come on with Ronaldo creating chances this would only motivate Messi to create a chance of his own I see Messi in the box oh no this is not good it's Messi it's Messi. Oh my god. What a save, Donnarumma. What a save. After Messi's chance, not much would happen in the game due to the teams being evenly matched, which meant that this UCL final was going into extra time. Well, it looks like we're going into extra time and the score is 0-0, man. This is going to be a good Champions League final. In the extra time period, either PSG were fatigued or lacked motivation because Barcelona would create chance after chance. But the only thing saving PSG was no other than Gigi Donnarumma. But in the dying moments of the game, Ronaldo would show us why he could soon be the greatest player in the world. Ronaldo, you have the ball. Ronaldo, this is you Ronaldo come on come on Ronaldo oh my god in the 120th minute oh my gosh no 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 this is actually insane there is no way Ronaldo just clutched up for PSG that is it that is game Ronaldo has won the Champions League and it's his first ever UCL Marquinhos is about to lift Ronaldo's first UCL trophy and he does it Ronaldo is officially a UCL winner in his second season of his career although Ronaldo would win his first Champions League of his career, he would fall short in the Ballon d'Or rankings and his teammate Kylian Mbappe would go on to win the Ballon d'Or. Season 3 of Ronaldo's career, where will he be going? Oh my gosh, wait, wait, wait. It looks like we're sending Ronaldo to Spain for the first time and he'll be joining Real Madrid. In season three of Ronaldo's career, he would sign for the biggest club in the world, Real Madrid, for a transfer fee of 70 million euros. Ronaldo would convert himself to a striker and dominate the Spanish league with ease, scoring 35 goals, winning the league and the Copa del Rey. But in order to complete the run for the treble, he would have to face off against Lionel Messi and Barcelona once again in the Champions League final. But unfortunately, Ronaldo would come up short this time to Messi because he would go on to have a brace in the UCL final, meaning Barcelona would take the trophy back home to Spain and Messi would go on to win his first Ballon d'Or. Season 4 of Ronaldo's career. Where will we be sending Ronaldo? Oh my gosh. Wait. Wait. It's a close one. Okay. We're sending him to England this time, but it's to Manchester City. In Season 4, Ronaldo will sign for English club Manchester City for 80 million euros. And with the help of Pep Guardiola and Manchester City's strong supporting cast, making the transition from Spain to England was very easy for him. Ronaldo would prove all the haters wrong and have his best season by far, scoring 42 goals, but the only English trophy he would win this season was the F Cup. But as for the UCL, Ronaldo would have a chance to win his second trophy facing off against his former club PSG, who now have a deadly duo consisting of Kylian Mbappe and Erling Haaland. But this duo would not scare Ronaldo one bit because all he wanted to do was win his second UCL, and he would see a great chance at that. Ronaldo, you're through. Ronaldo, you're through. Ronaldo, you're through. Head it, head it forward. Yes. Yes, Ronaldo. Yes, Ronaldo. Yes, Ronaldo. Come on. Get it started early. Ronaldo, what a start for you, man. What a start. Hit the suey. Hit the suey. Aw. Oh. Ah, he did the little calm celebration. We'll take it though, we'll take it. After Ronaldo's opener, PSG would struggle to get things going. They would reach Manchester City's goal but have no end product. But on the other side of the pitch, Ronaldo was going for the brace in the UCL final. Go Ronaldo, go Ronaldo, go! Go, Ronaldo. Go, Ronaldo. Come on, Ronaldo. Come on, Ronaldo. That's the second one. Yo, Ronaldo is actually too good, man. Literally, this guy is too good. Ronaldo's brace would do two things. Kill the morale of the entire PSG squad and motivate Manchester City to come out halftime with their foot on the gas. What a pass. Okay. 
Wait, wait, we're gonna cut it back. And then Jack Grealish, 3-0. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Up 3-0 in the Champions League final against Mbappe and Holland. At this point in the match, it was practically over. Holland and Mbappe would get chances, but they could not seem to get past Ederson, which meant that this UCL final would come to a close. And that is it. Ronaldo has won his second Champions League, man. What a sight to see. What a great performance by him. And there it is. De Bruyne is lifting Ronaldo's second Champions League trophy. Having an amazing season four meant that Ronaldo would go on to win his first Ballon d'Or, officially starting the greatest rivalry in football history. Where will the wheels send Ronaldo for season five of his career? Oh my gosh, no way. There is actually zero way we're gonna send him to Barcelona. Oh my gosh. Season five of Ronaldo's career will be interesting. Not only will he be returning to Spain to sign for FC Barcelona, but he will be playing alongside his biggest rival, Lionel Messi and Brazilian superstar Neymar Jr. And having to share the spotlight brought out the competitor in Ronaldo and he would have a terrific season scoring 50 goals and obviously dominate Spain by winning every major trophy possible. He would also reach the UCL final with the chance to go back to back against German Giants Bayern Munich in a penalty shootout. Okay, a penalty shootout for Ronaldo's second UCL trophy. Messi will step up to take the first one. Calm, Messi. Stay calm. Yes. Now we need to get a save. A save here would be great and oh my gosh, Ter Stegen does it. Now Neymar will step up to take the next one. I think we just need to be calm here and go bottom right. We need to be calm here and just go bottom right. Come on, Neymar. Yes. Nabry is taking the next one. We need to save. Oh my gosh, that's a good pen. I can't even complain. Gunduan will take the third one for Barcelona to put us up 3-0 in the penalty shootout. Come on, Gunduan. Yes, good penalty. Joshua Kimmich will step up to take the next one and he went down the middle. I couldn't do anything about that. Frankie De Jong will step up to take the next one. Top left, top left. Yes, Frankie. Yes. If Ter Stegen saves this penalty, Ronaldo will be a Champions League winner and Sané sinks it. It's nothing we can do about it. Ronaldo will step up to win the UCL for himself. If he makes this penalty right here, he will be a champion. Ronaldo is just the best penalty taker ever and he slots it home. Let's go, man. Let's go, Ronaldo. That is your second UCL trophy. What a penalty. Messi is lifting Ronaldo's third UCL trophy. Ronaldo actually went back to back in the UCL. If that's not Mr. Champions League, I don't know what is. Although Ronaldo would have a terrific season individually and from a club standpoint, it would get overlooked due to the fact that Barcelona was seen as Messi's team, meaning Messi would go on to win his second Ballon d'Or, officially setting the race at 2-1. to one. Ronaldo was robbed of the Ballon d'Or last season. Let's see where he will be going next. Okay, hold on. Wait, it's a close one here. It's a close one. Never mind. It looks like Ronaldo's going back to England, but this time to Manchester United. Season 6 for Ronaldo will be personal. He will be making his return back to England once again, but this time it was to sign for Manchester United. And being robbed of the Ballon d'Or last season did not sit right with Ronaldo because he knew deep down he was supposed to win it. So he would tear up England scoring a whopping 60 goals and he would also at Manchester United win the Premier League after their 11 year drought. And luckily for Ronaldo, his biggest rival Messi would be declared injured and out for the rest of the season. Meaning the only thing standing in his way of his fourth UCL title and his second Ballon d'Or would be North London's Arsenal. Where Arsenal would show us early why they made it to the UCL final. Oh my gosh, Bukayo Saka is coming down the wing, bro. This is not good. This is not good. No, 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 no. No way, no way. Oh my gosh, why would you head it straight to him? Seeing Arsenal create a chance early only motivated Ronaldo to show us why they call him Mr. UCL. Oh my gosh, Bruno Fernandes, what a pass. What a pass, Bruno. I'm going to power shot this. There's no way he's saving that. Come on, man. Come on, Ronaldo. Yes, what a goal. Celebrate with your team, man. You deserve it. Not long after Ronaldo's opener, Arsenal will show us why to never doubt the underdogs. This man, Bukayo Saka, is so fast, bro. Why is he so fast? I literally cannot catch up. No, 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 no. no. Chill. Chill out, chill out, chill out, bro. Chill out, man. Kai Havers just scored a goal on us? Like, that's just embarrassing, honestly. Shortly after Arsenal would equalize, it would only take Ronaldo five minutes to find the back of the net once again. Ronaldo, Ronaldo, I don't know how you just found space, but good shot, man. Oh my gosh, Garnacho, what a pass, man. Sit on that banner, yes. Lay down on that banner. Yes, Ronaldo, yes. To keep it short, after Ronaldo's brace, Arsenal would completely lose all focus and create zero chances at goal, which meant that this final has come down to the whistle. And that is it. Ronaldo has won his fourth Champions League with a brace in the UCL final. Go ahead and lift your fourth UCL trophy, Ronaldo. You deserve deserve it. You had a brace in the final. You deserve it. After dominating England in his sixth season, Ronaldo would go on to win his second Ballon d'Or, setting the rivalry even at 2-2. Two two. What a great season Ronaldo had with Manchester United, but now it is time to switch teams, and it looks like, hold on, it's a close one. Okay, it looks like we're gonna be sending Ronaldo to Liverpool this time. In season seven of Ronaldo's career, he will stay in England, but he will be moving to Anfield to sign for Liverpool FC. The English media would not like this one bit, and they would 
label Ronaldo as one of the biggest snakes in football history, but Ronaldo would not let the media get in his head and he would have another outstanding season bagging 55 goals with the help of prime Mohamed Salah and prime Vinicius Jr. But scoring goals would be the only success of this season because Liverpool would bottle the league and get eliminated from the Champions League in the round of 16 to Borussia Dortmund. This meant that Ronaldo's season would be cut short and his agent was already looking for the next move. Horrible season for Ronaldo, where are we sending him next? And oh my gosh, the wheel just landed on Juventus, so he's going to Italy. In season 8, Ronaldo would be making a move once again. He would go on to join Italian club Juventus FC. The media would be shocked by this transfer for one reason and one reason only, and that reason was Ronaldo was not going to be playing Champions League football. And this was all due to the fact that Juventus would have a bad stretch of seasons prior to Ronaldo's arrival. And knowing this information, Ronaldo would simply have zero motivation and he would have his worst season in a while only scoring 30 goals and not winning any major trophies. But on the other side of Europe, it would be Lionel Messi and Barcelona who would win the Champions League, which meant that Messi would go on to win his third Ballon d'Or. Juventus are completely mudded, but there's only two teams left on the wheel and it looks like we're going to be sending Ronaldo to Germany. In season 9 of Ronaldo's career, he would sign for German giants Bayern Munich for a transfer fee of 120 million euros. Although it was his first time in Germany, that would not matter at all due to the results of the previous season. Ronaldo would tear up the Bundesliga by having his best season by far, scoring 72 goals and winning every German trophy possible. He would also eliminate everyone in his path to reach the Champions League final where he would face off against his former club Real Madrid who now have a prime killing Mbappe on their team. And being known as the best club in the world, Real Madrid will show us exactly why people call them that. Oh my gosh, yo, why is Rodrigo so fast? No! Oh my gosh, we're down 1-0 in the ninth minute, bro. What is happening? Although Real Madrid will show us why they are the best club in the world, Ronaldo would show them why he is the best player in the world. Alfonso is running down the line. I think I'm gonna try to sweat this to Ronaldo. Ronaldo turn, yes. Yes, Ronaldo, hit a power shot. I don't care. Oh my god, Ronaldo. Oh my god, Ronaldo. That was a crazy goal. What a shot. Ronaldo tying up the game would only give Real Madrid an adrenaline boost. After all, with their club's history, they've been in this situation many times. Oh no, this is not good. Mbappe has picked up the ball. Good save, Neuer. Good save. Come on, Neuer. Why didn't you go get it? No, 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 no. No, no. Oh my god. Yo, why didn't Neuer just stop going to get the ball? That didn't make no sense. Just like how Real Madrid have been in this situation many times, Ronaldo has also been in this situation many times. And all it takes is a miracle to break through. I see Ronaldo. I'm just going to whip it into him and hopefully he wins it. Oh my gosh. He won it. Oh my god, Ronaldo. Yo, Ronaldo. I didn't even think you were going to win that, honestly. I seriously did not think he was going to win that. What a goal by Ronaldo. Like I said earlier, luck plays a huge part in the sport of football. And in this UCL final, it was in Ronaldo's favor. I see Musiala. Musiala had played in one more. And then come on, shoot. Yo, oh, Goretzka, shoot. Oh my God. Yo, what just happened? I don't know what just happened, honestly. I seriously don't know what happened, but hey, man, we'll take it, bro. At this point in the UCL final, it was basically over. Real Madrid would get one more chance, but they could not convert, and this final would come to a close. And that is the full-time whistle. Ronaldo has officially won another UCL. I mean, they call him Mr. UCL for a reason. This guy can't seem to stop winning them. Having an outstanding season nine meant that Ronaldo would go on to win his third Ballon d'Or, making the race between him and Messi set at 3-3, to which now leads us into season 10 where Ronaldo would join North London's Arsenal in which would be his final destination due to him getting older. Since this was Ronaldo's last season switching teams, he would put on a show and prove everyone that age is just a number by scoring 65 goals and winning the Premier League Golden Boot Award. He would also win the FA Cup and the Premier League which would give him enough momentum to reach the UCL final against PSG, who now have a trio consisting of Messi, Neymar, and Holland in a penalty shootout. Alright, a penalty shootout for another UCL trophy. Ronaldo will step up to take the first one. Ronaldo doesn't miss penalties. This guy does not miss any penalties. Come on, man. Holland will step up to take it for PSG, and he slots it home. What a penalty by him. All right, Jorginho to take the second one for Arsenal. Jorginho doesn't really miss penalties either, man. It's just too easy. Let's go. Neymar will step up to take the next one for PSG. He has a crazy run-up. It is very, very slow, but I think he's going left. And he chipped me. Like, wow, that's crazy. Saka will take the third one for Arsenal. I don't know how good Saka is at penalties, but we're going top left. Come on. And the goalkeeper stays solid and doesn't move. Let's go. Messi will take the next one for uh, PSG. And he said he missed it. Oh, my gosh. That just went by so fast. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. Od Odegaard. 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 You have to take this one and make it. Come on, Odegaard. Come on, Odegaard. Yes. Look, if Martinelli makes this right here, Arsenal will win the Champions League. And Ronaldo win the Champions League as well. He did it. Let's go. Come on, man. Let's Let's go, Martinelli. Ronaldo has won another Champions League. Let's go. What a penalty shootout by Arsenal. I would definitely say this is a great way to end off switching teams. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're on this road to 5,000 subscribers. And if you would like to see what would happen if I gave Mbappe Ronaldo's career, click the video on your screen.